about you know how to succeed here and here and forward. Yeah, I think uh, some of the closing things uh, just in general is just how to, like what I said at the Rose Bowl, how to prepare as a starter, how to just approach every day and how to take it day by day. And he really showed me that from the time me and Bo both stepped on campus last uh, last uh, winter. Do you see yourself uh, emerging as a leader? Uh, yeah, right now I'm just trying to become more of a vocal leader for the team. Uh, that's something that Coach Franklin has stressed with me and Coach Jurisic. Uh, just because, you know, uh, we we lost a lot of leadership with a lot of key pieces last year. So just in general, we need uh, leaders to step up. And I think they're doing a really good job of just developing leadership. So I'm really excited just to go through these uh, winter workouts and start developing my leadership skills. Knowing, knowing how the room has changed that you're in going into winter workouts, what's your mentality now in a different position than you were a year ago? Yeah, I'd say uh, just from a pure experience standpoint, I know what's going on more. Like, whereas last year, like, I was kind of learning things on the run and <laughs> learning on the fly. So now I'm like, I have a much more calm, like, mindset just because I know what to expect going into each workout. And and I think I'm just working on the little details of what I want to get better at personally and then uh, just pushing along the other guys in the room as they're doing with me and just the whole offense as a whole. What about that and taking it to the next step, what your role may be with the team in that same capacity, knowing that there's not a Sean in front of you? Mm -hmm. I think uh, just something that was really valuable that Sean did really well, and obviously, as everybody knows, is he was a great leader, like one of the unquestioned leaders of the team last year. So I think just having to fill that void is going to be a huge challenge for everybody on the team because like I said earlier, there was multiple leaders that aren't here anymore uh, that we're going to need people to step up and fill those roles just because to be a great team, we need to be a player-led team. And I think we're all doing a really good job right now of developing our leadership. Drew, is it too early to, to have that leadership come from your class? Maybe not you because you're in a, at, at your position, but the rest of the class. Is it too early for some leaders to emerge from your class? Uh, I wouldn't say so. I think uh, the biggest thing to being a leader is coming in every day and putting in the work. Um, and everybody else sees that, the players see that, the coaches see that. So just earning the respect of the teammate, your teammates and coaching staff, I think is the biggest thing when trying to become a leader, just because you can't talk the talk and not back it up, really. So you have to be able to uh, go, go on the line and where you're willing to do the extra work that nobody sees, but also just push the, the other teammates along. Are there Speaking of backing it up. What's it mean to you, the fact that people are even throwing your name in the Heisman conversation already, and how do you manage those expectations but still push yourself? Yeah, I mean, I don't look too much into that uh, just because, it. I mean, we're not even into spring ball yet. We're, we just started our first winter workout today, so I'm just prepared and preparing to like get better each day, working on the things I need to fix with my game. And uh, from a weight standpoint, weightlifting standpoint, just uh, really grinding on those things every day. Is there something there specifically that you're working on that you want to improve this offseason? As far as like weight? Yeah, physical uh, Yeah, I'd say just get faster, uh, get faster and bigger. I mean, because you can never be too fast and never be too big. Uh, I've definitely cleaned up my diet since I've gotten back. I think uh, nutrition staff has helped me a ton. And so as the whole strength staff, uh, just helping me do whatever I need to do to get uh, bigger, faster, stronger. So I, I think uh, it's been on a really good pace so far. What's the biggest challenge from a mental mindset of going from being the guy that came in as a mop-up, and now you're you know, going out there first and leading the team out and being a leader from, from the first play? Uh, I wouldn't say it's too different because Sean did a really good job with all of us in the room last year of uh, making sure we were all prepared as the starter and we were preparing the same way as him just because you never know when your opportunity is going to be called or your name's going to be called. And just stepping up for that standpoint, I think it, it hasn't been a big transition for me because Sean was preparing us and Coach Uresis and Coach Franklin were doing that since last year. Drew, it's been one year on campus. How much have you grown? You talked about as a player, but as a man, do you feel any different? Yeah, I definitely feel different. Uh, I mean, <laughs> just coming from high school, you know, uh, having to offend on my own sort of here like I've, I've never been around when I coming in here in January I've never was uh, like high school is a lot different than college as we all know so I just kind of learning on the fly with that but I think the whole strength staff coaching staff and everybody in the program does a really good job of developing character that was one of the reasons I came here just because of the people that come out of here this place uh, both on the field and off the field um, so that's just a testament to what coach Franklin has done here and I'm super glad I'm a part of it we're talking to a lot of guys today, guys like Nick Singleton, who 
really quiet at the Rose Bowl and you guys all seem to have taken a step in your confidence. Do you feel that now that there's a new early enrollee class and you guys aren't the freshmen anymore? Like, it feels like everyone's kind of a little different. Yeah, I would say so just because, you know, we know what it was like to be in their shoes and I think it's easier for us to like bring them along with us because we know how it felt. Uh, like being in their shoes coming in here to a new environment that you've never been a part of and that's the one thing about this program That's really special is last year that all the older guys did that with us, too So we just want to repay it back to this these younger guys. Well, how do you develop that consistency? Obviously you guys have some new receivers How do you develop that consistency communication with whoever you guys really gel with in the receiver group? Uh, I think just repetition like anything else uh, we've been throwing two or three times a week since really lifting started back up and I think that's really helped us already um, and just bringing along those guys talking through everything not necessarily always throwing we can have productive conversations about how they see things how we see things and like a middle point or if we need to change something and the coaching staff is really good with us uh, just adjusting to that and us asking questions to them and what they see that we made to do different but I think it's just repetition and everything. Bo talked about Coach Higgins coming in said he didn't really get a chance to chat with him yet it's kind of day one here but um, having somebody play college quarterback now coaching the wide receivers, how do you think that relationship's going to go? Have you talked to him? Yeah, I've talked to him a couple times already. Uh, he, he's a really nice guy. I'm super uh, glad he's a part of this coaching staff. Uh, he's going to be great for everybody in the program, and especially the receivers. But uh, yeah, I think his experience playing college quarterback, he can provide uh, insight into what the receivers are seeing for us and what the what we see to the receivers, just because he knows how it how it is like playing quarterback and being in this position that we are all in right now. And I think it's just going to be another tool for us to communicate with, and it's good, he's going to be great here. So much of leadership is respect. So how do you just garner the respect of the people around you in the huddle from day one? Yeah, I would say just your work ethic uh, every day. Uh, you can't be uh, one person uh, one day and a different person the next day. You have to come in with the same mindset every day, be the same person every day, put in the work every day. And uh, I think teammates will, over time, gain respect for that just to make sure you're, you're not talking like you're a leader, but you're not acting like a leader uh, when nobody's looking. So I think just uh, earning everybody's respect is the biggest thing. And then how will you evaluate your own success after this offseason period when you know when spring practice ends? How do you go back and evaluate yourself so you're ready for the start of the season? Uh, I would just say making sure, like going into spring ball, if I have anything I want to work on, going back and looking if I improved on that. And if anything else came up as far as something I want to work on for the summer, I think that's how I'll look at it. Uh, it's what we did last year. And I think that really helped me going into the summer. And this being my tech second time through spring ball, uh, I have a better understanding of like the whole offense as a whole just because I've been here a year. So I think I'll be able to, uh, me and Bo take it to the next level and also bring Jackson along with us. Uh, that's something that I found really beneficial is just teaching it to other people just because uh, Sean did a great job of teaching it to me. But I also, Sean would ask me to explain it to him and uh, that really helped my development, just regurgitating all the information back. So I think that could be a, a beneficial for everybody in the room. How was your experience last year going into now helped you mature not only as a player but as a person? Uh, I would just say uh, being in this program teaches you a lot of different things on the field, obviously, but off the field. Um, it's a great program to be a part of. Uh, not many be people get to be a part of it. So, you know, Coach Franklin does a great job with everybody in the program, um, just developing leadership off on the field and then also developing character and accountability off the field. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing about being this, in this program. You really uh, turn it, know how to develop into a man. You mentioned that you've gone through Spring practice for you'll go through spring practice now uh, for the second time. Uh -huh. Could you get a little more specific about what you thought you were good at when you came here and what maybe you improved this offseason or what you want to improve? Because there's a lot of things quarterbacks do. Yeah. There's a lot of different parts of your job. Yeah, I, I would say like going into spring, my biggest thing that uh, I felt like would help me is um, that I would be uh, coachable. And just taking everything into account from the coaches and trying to soak in all the information I can. So I think that really helped me. And it, that's how all of us in the room are. We're, we're like sponges in there. We're always in there uh, learning and watching film. So I think that really helped me last year. And then just uh, from my first year, just trying to learn the playbook as fast as I could, uh, just because it's a lot different than high school. There's a lot more like in information coming in with each play. And uh, I think Coach Yursic did a really good job with that. Uh, just making it as simple as possible for us so we can go out there and just play and react instead of having to think overthink everything during the play. Earlier you brought up Jackson. Of course, you and Bo have been here now for a year. 
um, but also only a year. All of a sudden, the veteran was in the quarterback room. Uh, has that transition been strange at all? And how have you two played, you know, a, a veteran leadership role for Jackson? Uh, yeah, I don't think it's strange just because, you know, I don't, I don't really look at uh, being a veteran as multiple years. I think one year can do plenty just because of all the experiences you can gain in a year. So I think uh, me and Bo are doing a really good job right now trying to uh, give Jackson all the things that we wish we would have done differently or things that we were, were, great, that we're grateful that we, what we did. Um, so just giving all the information we can to him because it, it will really help his development. Drew, I got here a little late, but can you... Sorry, but can you address uh, the whole leadership subject? Coach Frank will talk about how important it is to develop that in the offseason so you guys have it from that position before the season gets here. Yeah, obviously we lost a lot of key leaders last year, uh, a lot of key positions, and I think as a whole that the team is doing a really good job of just developing leadership, um, and that's just a credit to the coaching staff. They, they know that we lost a lot of important leaders last year and a lot of important players, so they're – uh, constantly uh, harping on us to just be more vocal and uh, teaching us how to develop leadership. They're not just saying that we need leadership. They're, they're teaching us how to become leaders, which is very valuable to all of us. And, uh, I'm, I mean, I think just from my standpoint of becoming a leader is being more vocal. Um, and I think I'm doing a better job of it, but I, I know I can do a lot more with it. How much uh, did playing as much as you did last year help in that regard? Because you were in, in some key games, and I'm sure you had to open your mouth out there, right? Yeah, uh, it definitely helped just because, as anything in life, the more experience you get in something, the more comfortable you become in it. And I think just uh, the practices throughout the year really helped me, just uh, learning – just the practices really helped me throughout the year, like helping the other guys out if they had questions, um, me answering it with them. But when I got in the game, I think it really helped me just with communication on the sideline, especially with Sean and Coach Jiris. They did a really good job of it, just asking what I saw out there on the on the field and uh, seeing what they saw and if there was something I would have done differently and what I would have done differently. So I think from that standpoint, it, it, do, it has helped me uh, like kind of – uh, sit in the leadership role better what so far. The first day you walked in, I'm sorry, the first day you walk into that room and there's no Clifford, there's no CV, what is going through your kind of head and your heart as, as, as you're approaching that day? Yeah, uh, I'm definitely going to miss both of them. They were they were great guys, they were great teammates, and they were both great players. And uh, they're going to do great in whatever they do in life just because of their attitudes they have and the work ethic they both have. Um, but we both learned, me and Bo learned a lot from them. So I think just from this standpoint, we're just going to try to do what they did for us uh, with Jackson and just helping Jackson as much as we can. Can you describe what you think being more vocal means? Does that mean talking to players in between plays, yelling at if they need to, talking to them away from the field during class? Just, just what does being more vocal mean? Uh, I would say being more vocal means like just during workouts uh, and stuff, uh, encouraging teammates, pushing teammates, up, uplifting them. Uh, and if, if they need to be put in check, that, that's where leadership really comes in. But um, we don't have any issues like that here. That's one of the great things about this program. Is there some of that that can be done away from the field, away from the facility as well, that you develop leadership and respect when you're not, you know, doing football stuff? Yeah, I would say just bring – I mean – like just going to class and being accountable with uh, academic stuff and off the field stuff is definitely a, a way to become a leader. But um, I would say just bringing guys into the, the film room or out on the field, talking through routes, throwing routes and just asking what they see, telling them what I see. And just uh, from that standpoint, just being more vocal and being like just more communicative with everybody. Yeah, I mean, I can't say enough great things about the strength staff here um, and the nutrition staff. They have both helped me a ton. Uh, I'm in there early every day before lifts, stretching with Coach Earls. He, he's really helped me a ton uh, just from a mobility and flexibility standpoint. And then Coach Losey, since he's like uh, the quarterback's uh, trainer, uh, he's helped me a ton too just uh, from everything. Because, I, I mean, I lifted in high school, but it's not like I didn't lift in high school like we lift here. So I think he's really helped me catch up with everybody in the weight room because, you know, there's <laughs> there's some strong kids on our team. So, uh, and just being out on the field, you need to be like physically strong just because, you know, we're going against a lot of top tier athletes every every 
week, uh, especially in this conference. So just being physically enough, like to take the beating that we take in each week and then uh, mentally tough enough to just bounce back from something that didn't go our way. How about in terms of actually playing the game? Pre-snap read, reading a defense. You got some experience last year. Where are you in those areas? I mean, it's hard to know until you actually play games that gets mm -hmm. you know, top deep. Where are you in those areas, and, and how much work can you do between now and the fall to, to improve in those areas? Yeah, I think there's a lot of work that can be done just because there's so much time until our first game. But right now I'm just trying to – just working on these workouts, uh, pushing myself and pushing my teammates. And then from a film standpoint, meeting with – Coach Jurisic and the other coaches on staff, the quarterbacks, the receivers, uh, just seeing where we can be more efficient at um, because, you know, you can never be too efficient on offense. We want to uh, possess the ball and keep the ball and give our defense breaks because, you know, we have a great defense here and they do a lot of great things on the field. But um, just trying to be as efficient as possible. He still Frank Frank had a pretty good line about you. He said there aren't a lot of humans who have that kind of arm strength. Uh, when did you realize that your arm strength was something special? And is that something that you develop, or is it just God given? Uh, I would say a little bit of both, just because you know I think it, a lot of I mean a lot of it did come from uh, like just being blessed uh, like to have these abilities, but um, also playing different sports growing up uh, that that really helped me develop like everything. Uh, football obviously helped me playing just football, just getting to this point. But basketball really helped functional movement, just quick cuts because you know there's so much cutting in basketball and you have to be quick on your feet. And then baseball, just from like a hand-eye coordination and uh, arm arm slot ability I think that's where like all the arm slots really come came from from me just because you know uh, I played third base a little bit of first and short a little bit so I think just having to uh, drop your arm angle every once in a while to turn to or just get the guy out at first or whatever the case may be really helped me so I think uh, just growing up uh, just having the abilities that I, I was blessed to have with and then just playing different sports really helped me develop everything. No is pitch controlling that ever a challenge? Is controlling it? I mean, you know, if somebody's open short and you fire at 90 miles an hour, I mean, or is that something that you've been... Uh, I, I would say that's something I learned when I was, like, first playing quarterback because I definitely, like, didn't have... I had touch, but I, like, never really used it, I would say. Um, so were you hurting kids? I mean, not... <laughs> yeah, like, oh, ow, ow. yeah, there was a couple of broken fingers in high school, but, <laughs> but um, I think uh, just the work I've done with my quarterback coach has really helped me just really control everything uh just becoming the quarterback i am right now and there's there's still things i need to work on because you know you can never be good enough really you have to, you ought to always be striving to be better so did you ever pitch yeah i did pitch how yeah. you, you ever you ever been you had the radar gun how hard do you throw for baseball? uh well i stopped playing baseball my freshman year but in game, the fastest I ever thrown was like 86 miles per hour. As my a freshman, first, yeah. You were throwing 86 as a freshman. <laughs> yeah. You still putting work with Brad? Yeah, yeah. He was actually uh, up here last week. So I, I, whenever I'm home, I'm always training with him, and uh, I'm always in constant communication with him. He, he's really helped me uh, a ton uh, ever since I started training with him as a sophomore. So he, he's really helped me develop into the quarterback I am. As long as my, as with my high school coaches too, and the coaches uh, here too have really helped me. What do you think? What do you think makes him, a, you know, such a good QB trainer? Uh, I would say his ability to relate to the quarterbacks and his ability to, because there's a lot, the way he teaches it is a lot of like science behind it and uh, a lot of like body movements. And I think his, just the way he's able to effectively communicate it in multiple ways. Uh, if the quarterback's seven years old, he's able to make, like dumb it down in a way to make them get it. And with me, when I started training with him, just showing the value of throwing certain ways like uh <laughs> there's this one Aaron Rodgers clips that he always I've I've probably seen like a thousand times by now that he's always showed me and like that was like one of the things that really sold me on training with him was just the functional movement and watching how the the top quarterbacks in the NFL throw and just the seeing the way he teaches it has really helped me what is the process of kind of like relearning how to throw and how hard is it uh, it's it's definitely hard, but I think if you have the work ethic to go through that, like because the first two to four months, 
two, two to five months are really the hardest because, you know, you're changing the way you through all your life and uh, just not seeing the consistency you want. You, it, that, that should just make you more determined to, like, keep with the program. And uh, he's done a great job with me uh, and a lot of other quarterbacks. He has a lot of high-level quarterbacks in college and coming up through high school. So I think just um, him – really making it simple for us and easy for us, not overcomplicating things and working at one thing at a time really helped me. Like we started upper body first, like arm slot, because I, I used to pull down a lot and like release early. So fixing that first and then working into the like hips and then feet. Uh, so just like progression based. What's the biggest thing that you learned from Sean that you, that you plan on passing out as you get over? I mean, I learned a lot of great things from Sean just because uh, he has a lot of wisdom just on the field and off the field because of just his age, I guess. But uh, he, he was really great for the whole room. But I think the biggest thing is never get too, too down or never get too high just because uh, you have to stay in the middle, especially as a quarterback. You have to be like that kind of moderator. Can't get too low on yourself because then the team can dip. Um, and you can't get too high because that's when you can kind of just get sloppy with everything. So you have to stay in the middle. Do you have a checklist for all these things? Like, I gotta be a leader, I gotta make sure mechanics are right. Like, how do you process all these things and how do you go about making some of these things like second nature so you don't want to think Yeah, I would say like, kind of like a checklist for them. Just like, I have like, I try to narrow it down to three to five things that I really want to get like better at. Um, just because you can't have too many things you're trying to work on at once because you'll never excel in any of them. So I think just trying to make the list as short as possible and like as detailed as possible uh, can really help people. Caden Saunders said, one, that you're a good roommate, but two, that he's been trying to work more with you. Yeah. Um, what's that process been like, and how have you seen him grow the last year? Yeah, uh, Caden has grown a lot uh, just from the stuff, because we roomed together uh, when we first got here, too, and we're still roommates now, and he, he's grown a lot. Uh, he's always asking me questions um, in, the, in our rooms and uh, just on the field and stuff, and I think we have a really good relationship. Just I think it really started just – coming from the same place Ohio and moving here having the same having to go through the same thing every day but um, he, he's grown a lot and you can I can tell personally that he's a lot more comfortable than what he was last year he's playing fast he's playing fluid and he's gotten a lot stronger and faster in the weight room as well about it hey, you have a, have you a chance to throw Malik McLean yet yeah, uh, he's been at the receiver. I mean, we we have like group throwings uh, three times a week, and we try to keep that consistent. Um, so he's been there, and he, he's done a really good job. But the, all the receivers in the room that have been here have really helped him too. Just how Sean helped me and Bo last year. Uh, they're they're a really good job, and they're really developing as leaders in that room too. What, do you, what are your main takeaways from his game so far? How do you think someone of that size could, you know, potentially help your offense? Yeah, just like what you said, he, he's got a big frame. Uh, he's super athletic, and uh, he, he adjusts to the ball really well in the air, and he's eager to learn, which I can, which is a really good thing, especially at that receiver position. Uh, so I think the, all the older receivers are really helping him too, and he's always asking me questions too, which I really appreciate. And I tell him if he ever any, has any questions, just let me know, and I'll be there to help. How's Bo help Thank you. push you? Uh, I think just because of how competitive he is uh, and how competitive yeah. everybody What's that like? is. What's that like? Uh, I'd just say every day, just uh, just <laughs> during drills, just competing against one or the other, uh, making each other better. Uh, he's a great teammate, and I love being around him. Beavers will really benefit from him. I don't want to get you in trouble with this question, but I'd be fascinated to hear your answer. What does a Drew Aller offense look like? Like, what do you like to do? What do you think is a strength of yours? Uh, I would just say a strength of mine would be like just to adapt to anything uh i'm i'm willing to do whatever it takes to win and if that means handing it off 50 times a game i'll hand it off 50 times a game if i have to throw a certain amount of times a game i'll throw that many times i just want to do whatever it takes to be one and oh every week and that's what we're all about in this program and now every player is on this team you and bo are different type of quarterbacks right? yeah something he does actually that you learn from or take from? Uh, I would just say is mobility. Uh, that's yeah. one of his strengths. Uh, he's a super athletic quarterback and he's a super strong quarterback. So I think in that aspect, he's really helped me a ton because he's pushed me a ton in that. Um, so yeah, he, he's really he's really mobile and he's a really good thrower too as well. So that makes him like a true dual foot threat. Is there multiple 